Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do September readings for all zodiac signs. Now, like I always say, I'm gonna keep on saying it, that these are general readings. Take what resonates with you, and you know what to do with the rest of it. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So whether you shoot me that email or you give me that shout over the phone, things are set up quickly and they're done quickly. Uh, also, if you want to learn tarot, I have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. My healing uh, mystery boxes, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, they bring out the highest properties and qualities of your healing crystals and stones. And they look great no matter where you put them. Uh, also, life path readings that are absolutely awesome. Um, if you want to get rid of blockages, uh, any type of healing process, give me a shout if you're interested. They're all available. All right. This reading is going to be for Capricorn. Let's see what's crackalacking with you in September 2019. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Cappies. You might have to get control of your emotions here in order to find the best fit for you. Hmm. So let's get into this bottom of the deck. Of course. Caps, you have the sun card. Most positive deck. Most positive deck. Listen to me. Most positive card in the deck. Get that out. It says you're happy, happy. Positive outcome, positive outlook. Glasses always half full, caps not half empty. So let's get it. Capricorn, we're going to start off with the moon. Now we all know the moon likes to hide things, lies, secrets, deception. It's about the unknown, fear perhaps. Deep consciousness, intuition. And what's crossing you? Is that you have the Seven of Cups. Go over here, see if I can get that glare off it. There we go. And it's all about choices, having options. Some good, some bad. I personally would not take the squid in the cup. But that's just me. Caps, it's like you want the best outcome for you. In any ship. Friendship, partnership, love ship. And not knowing, not to be able to predict, you know, what choices are the best for you. That's half the fun and that's half the adventure. Some things, Caps, you can control and other things you just can't. Can you control your emotions? Yes, you can. Can you control what others do? No, you can't. Now, in your foundation, here, Caps, there you are. I'll put it over here. The devil. Now, one part of this card is deep desire. You know, a craving. The other side of this card is obsessions, addictions, illusions. Codependency, feeling bound and tied to a situation or person that you don't think is ever going to change or end. You know, it could be sex, porn, gambling, chocolate, smoking, you name it. Caps, don't ever feel or give yourself that illusion that you're bound and tied or something won't change. Because little do you know, Caps. Everything can change. And at a moment's notice. Change comes with choices. 
caps. And if you're thinking the positive out, you know, outlook for yourself, you can't go wrong. You can't. Now, what's crowning your reading here, caps, is that you have the five of swords. Here's conflict. One upping somebody, winning at all cost. Could be hurtful, you know, hard words said, hitting under the belt, I just heard. Who wants that? And Caps wants to feed into that. That's wasted energy. To fight just to fight, you know, to say something that, you know, is hurtful. No victory. It's a hollow victory. Now, this could be your energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you. Don't engage in that. Don't take your focus off your happiness. Couldn't help but look. The card under. You have the lovers. Soulmate connection. Deep bond. The other side of that card, too, is life-changing decisions. In caps, when you're doing... You know, the right thing by yourself, for yourself. You can't go wrong. Now, to stand your ground is one thing. And not to be pushed around or, you know, coerced in any way. But don't fight just to fight. Again, it's a hollow victory. Now, in your recent past... You have another major arcana. You have strength. And this is not about physical strength. This is about inner strength. I always said that everybody has a line. An inner line. Sometimes you get to hold it back. But sometimes, Caps, you get to wake it up. And if you have to wake up your inner line to pursue happiness, wake it up. But if you need to hold back your line... Because you're dealing with energy that just wants to fight. Pfft. Tell it to move on. Got better things to do there, Caps. Absolutely. Have the strength, have the courage, have the guts to pursue your happiness. And not what makes somebody else happy. Do it for the right reasons. Because going into the future... Caps, you have the Four of Swords. Now, this is taking a pause, taking a breath, taking a step back. Reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan, making a plan B. And taking a breath. Taking a pause here, Caps, to know what you want and pursue it. And pursue it with guts. And courage. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Sounds like an ambulance. So we might get hurt. <laughs> wow. Now, how people see you in this situation, Caps, they see you as the nine of wands. Somebody who's been in the battle for a while, but they don't give up. Yeah, they're wounded, they're weary. But the one wand that they start off with is the one they take down all the way to the end. Don't matter what the other eight wands are doing. Kick rocks. Just waiting to see if they go and buy my place. I don't think so. But someone sees you as not giving up. Now, Caps, if you're standing your ground and not giving up on your dreams, in your hopes, in your wishes... That's one thing. But if you're fighting just to fight, that's another. Don't get in that that mindset, that thing that keeps you bound and tied. Because somebody just wants to fight. And, Caps, this could be the energy that you're putting out there or the energy that you're dealing with. But in your environment, Caps, you have star card, known as an Aquarius card. Healing energy 
divine intervention things going on behind the scenes. The universe letting you know in your guides, knowing that they got you, they're with you. This can be healed if you choose to do so, Caps. And Caps, you're smarter and you're better than that. I think so. Somebody else's influences do not depict your destiny and where you want to go and what you want out of life. Because in your hopes and fears, Caps, you have the Hermit. The Hermit is a Virgo card, fellow Earth sign. The seeker of knowledge he doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He relies on himself. That way he knows it to be true. And Caps, I do believe that when you internalize and you know exactly what you want, outside influences will not jar you or deteriorate, you know, your dreams, your hopes, your ambitions. If it comes from you and you know exactly what you want, you'll go after it. You'll go after it at all costs. But do it, Caps, wholeheartedly. Because your outcome card is the Queen of Cups. Now, this is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. This person is very intuitive. King, Queen, don't matter, it's an energy. This person has their emotions, even keel, in check. So, Caps, balance within you. Knowing what you want, what's real and what's not. Knowing who's blowing smoke and who's not. Get that there. Sorry for the glare. Stay in the battle. As long as it's your battle, Caps. And fight. Fight for your happiness. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.